So today I'm talking about a P0453 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0453 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission system, pressure sensor switch high. And what does this mean? Well, vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that basically takes the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back up to the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. This is for emissions. And depending on the vehicle, the year, the make, different things like this, there can be some differences on what's going on inside the EVAP system. So if you do go to work on your vehicle, it's a good idea to get a diagram for your specific vehicle. But the basics of how this works is that the gas vapors are going to leave the gas tank. They're going to go over to what's called a charcoal canister. That's kind of like storage for the gas vapors located on the charcoal canister or near it. There's going to be what's called a vent valve and the vent valve does different things. The computer can open or close it and test the system and different things like this. And a hose is going to leave the charcoal canister and it's going to go up into the engine compartment to what's called a purge valve. And the purge valve basically stays closed when the engine's off. And then when the engine's running, the computer sends it a signal to open up and gas vapor is going to the engine to get burnt off. And there's also what's called a fuel tank pressure sensor or an EVAP pressure sensor. And basically the computer is using this pressure sensor to monitor what's going on inside of the system. But when you get a P0453 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem with this sensor that the pressure is high for some reason. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0453 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that pressure sensor has just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. These sensors can be located differently. Sometimes they're located on the fuel pump. This is fairly common. They can also be located up on top of the gas tank. Sometimes they're even located inside the charcoal canister. So like I said before, you will need to get a diagram of where everything's located on your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on. You can test that sensor if you want to. There's some different ways to go about testing it. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But the first thing that's going to cause this problem is a bad EVAP pressure sensor. The next thing that could cause this problem is the wires going to the pressure sensor. If there's any kind of problem inside the wiring, like an open or a short, then that's going to cause problems. Again, if you do go to work on your vehicle, you will need to get schematics to know for sure what's going on. But it is very common for these to begin like a 5 volts reference voltage. You have a ground wire going to it, and then you have a signal wire that's going back to the computer. So if you can locate that pressure sensor, you can go check it. Be sure you're getting voltage. Be sure you got a good ground. And then you can check that signal wire going back to the computer to be sure that it's not open or short or anything like this. But the next thing that's going to cause this is some kind of wiring issue. And the next thing that could cause this is that the fuel pressure is high inside of the system for some reason. There's like a failed EVAP component that's causing issues and causing the pressure to be high. And so this is going to be something like a bad vent valve, a bad purge valve, the charcoal canister is having some kind of issue, something like that. Usually if that happens, you're going to get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. For example, if you're getting like a P0449 code, evaporative emission system vent valve solenoid circuit, then it would be a good idea to go check out the vent valve, which is usually combined with the charcoal canister, although they can be separate. But basically the next thing that could cause this is that something's failed inside of the system and it's causing the pressure to be too high for some reason. But like I said, usually you get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of issue going on with the computer. And this is going to be like a bad engine control module or a bad powertrain control module or something like that. But this is fairly rare. Usually when you get a P0453 code, it's going to be something else. Also, usually when there is some kind of computer issue, you're going to have a lot of other problems. Usually it just doesn't give you one code or anything like that. Usually it gives you a whole bunch of other codes and there's different kind of issues going on. But it does happen sometimes. So the last thing on the list is going to be a bad computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0453 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.